Okay. okay. Hello, uh, uh, my name is Jacob, and I am the sole developer of MB. Uh, MB is a browser extension that allows you to stream, store, and search uh, your music. Uh, so to do this, I had to do a lot of research. Uh, here's just a few of the sites I had to look at. And from this, what I found is that many of them had great functionality, some of which I've um, nabbed off and used to try and uh, improve my program, and hopefully in the future I might be able to implement more. But also, I found a major flaw, and that was standards. One of the big issues the music industry we found, uh, finds at the moment is that standards and databases are often inconsistent. This can often mean that I can't access uh, my Spotify songs on Apple Music, I can't access my Google Music songs on SoundCloud, and I think one of the best ways to push forwards is to use more APIs, uh, one of which could be Last.fm. Last.fm allows you to store uh, music, it allows you to get recommendations, it allows you to uh, find data about songs, artists and albums. I think if we want to push forwards in terms of making better music and more music accessible to people, we need to push forwards in terms of making more standards and encouraging APIs. So that's, what, that's the leading premise behind this. So the core features of this is that it's a browser extension. You don't have to install things. It, you have to go on the Chrome store. But aside from that, it's incredibly simple. And compared to installing a, a regular program, it's convenient. You don't have to open anything up. Most people use their browser most of the time. And um, so that, that is a vital benefit. Um, it's also got a large library. I am open to say that I use APIs to try and get my music. I'm not restricted or bound by my own library and database. I use other people's to try and enhance the experience. I use sites such as YouTube to try and further enhance it as well um, because uh, I, I don't use sites such as YouTube because that violates the terms of service. Uh, I've read through the terms of services of, um, of the things I am using. Many previous extensions have been taken down, as a matter of fact, because they've been violating um, terms of services. So I'm going to try and work to ensure that it stays on the Chrome store if, uh, when I push it. Um, also, I use Material Design. It's sleek, it's elegant, and it allows for a simple interface. And it's uh, completely free as well, which is great. So here's the structure of the program. Uh, as we can see, I'm pulling in data from Plear, Last.fm, SoundCloud, and Bing Images. Uh, to allow the service to be as best as possible, and it is feeding into the uh, Chrome extension. And um, so now let's see if the demo works. So I'll pop this up. Uh, as we can see, uh, hit the little symbols here, that shows that that is the Chrome extension. And if we pop it up, we can see the Chrome extension, it's slightly large because of um, display sizings. Um, so if I search something, as we can clearly see, it displays, and if I, if this actually works, we might be able to play. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. Another benefit of this is that you can play albums, so um, I can pick this album, that is boring. and I can uh, iterate through the album uh, as I feel uh, suitable. I can also uh, playlist things, so say I like a particular song, I can just add it to my playlist and it will be put on. So here is an example playlist. I can... Don't you think... That, okay, that was a slight bug, but we can work <laughs> on that. Um, you can also discover popular songs at the moment. So I can search, for example, this song, and it will display. And we can see it right there. So that is uh, the MB extension in that show. Uh, thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? Questions? Yeah. Um, is this live calling the APIs of, say, uh, SoundCloud and Last FM, or are you kind of storing it each time, or how does, how does it work? Uh, oh, well, I'm using Flask, and uh, Flask is essentially running a RESTful API that feeds from it live. Okay. And you cache at all, or? 
Uh, well, the songs which I'm playing now because of dodgy internet, I've uh, by default it caches it, and so I've used these cache songs. Um, however, um, in, uh, if the internet was better, yes, you could stream it um, better. Uh, but the actual, in terms of searching and all the rest of the functionality, that is live. Um, well, wait, wait, wait. If, if no one else got it, I'll, I'll keep going. Um, what, what was the biggest challenge you faced making this, like coding-wise? Uh, the biggest challenge, um, well, what I found is that Last.fm is in the process of updating some of its databases, and that's often meant that they have um, some data which is workable and has some uh, attributes and other data which doesn't. And so to overcome this, I've had to put a lot of uh, trial and error into trying to make sure that this uh, works successfully. Okay. Any more for any more? Cool. Thank you. Sure.